What is good, Gray Gang? We're here today in the open field, and that's kind of important. Another thing that's important, it's early in the year, so there's no real hay growing yet. That's important because in today's video, if there was hay, we would be knocking it all down. We have a army truck. Now, I'm not going to say a deuce and a half because... I said it was a deuce and a half once and I had a, had a bunch of JROTC JRO boys go off on me because apparently this is not a deuce and a half. It might just be a deuce. I don't know. But this is what we got. A legit army truck ready to rock and roll. This thing right here, it stormed the beaches of Germany. It was rolling through the streets of Vietnam. Anyways, we had a video with it before, but we're going to do another one today. But today's video is a little bit different. Instead of just riding it around, we're going to be bugging out in this thing. As y'all know, or maybe you don't, we got an underground bunker over there. So we're going to be starting in the bunker, doing a little drill as if the bunker was getting raided or something. And we have to come out here and we're going to have to live on this thing. Now, how long we got to live? I don't know, but we got to live long enough. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, first thing we are going to do is show you around real quick because this thing is pretty cool. According to five year JRO OTCs, this is not a deuce half. So if you know what this is, go ahead and tell me because I don't know. All I know is it's an army truck. But open it up and climb on in here. Here you go. I'll bring y'all on into my new crib. Solid seats. I'm talking solid seats. They're actually air pressured, which means they're really good suspension. As for where Ethan will be riding, there's no suspension. Come on in the other side. While Ethan's coming around the front, it'll take him about 30, 35 minutes. But this is my view. You got a big old steering wheel and a bunch of these controls. Come on up, Ethan. What are you thinking about? It's high up here. It is pretty high up here. We're about 4,000 feet in elevation up here. Real nice automatic windows. We'll go ahead and let them down real quick. Parking brake. Air. Uh, spring brake. Override. Lord have mercy. Let's hope that light don't go off. But yeah, to start this thing, first thing step is uh, turn the battery on. I'm going to let Ethan start filming because it's about to get real. All right, next step. Um, uh, I think we just turn it on. Okay, that is not the next step. What about the air pressure? I mean, we got to start it to get air pressure, right? If we if we can't start it, it's going to be really hard to bug out in What's it. all these buttons do? They need to be turned up so we can read them. Air freshener? We don't need that. Um, disengage PTO. Maybe we should push this in. Oh, maybe we should put it in neutral? Mm. Maybe we can need to push this in. Probably not. Does the horn work? What horn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Moment of truth, boys. It's been two hours since you last... Four hours since you last seen us. Alright. Uh, it ain't started. Look at that bird's nest. Inside of the hood. They don't even... They don't even make sense. Alrighty guys, it is the next day. It took uh, quite a long time to get this thing running, but we think it does now. Let's get started. First thing, battery on. Alright, you ready? There we go! Wow! We're gonna roll down these windows. It's a little loud in here, but we're in an army truck, so that's just how it is. Also, this isn't a deuce and a half. This is a five ton, which is twice as big. Well, put her in drive, son. Here we go. We're moving. Suspension's a little, uh... It is for you. The suspension for me, I've got one of those air pressure seats, so I'm, I'm just bouncing, dude. He's sitting on a rock. Now I know what you may be asking. Kendall Dick, what's that thing on top of it? Flamethrower. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. It's a good question. Basically, it's an elevated platform at this point, but eventually we may pull it off and do something different with it. But now is game time. This fence is loose. This has nothing to do with the video, but like this, this fence is loose, dude. We should fix that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead. It's time to start surviving out of this thing. 
Let's go to the bunker. Okay, guys, we're right now, we're down in our bunker. You can see, if you, if you don't know about our bunker, that's a whole series on the channel. But this is a bug out preparation video. We're gonna be doing a little bug out on the t five ton truck. So basically, the scenario is that something went bad wrong and we're in the bunker. But it's getting even worse and we're gonna have to leave the bunker for our mobile bug out machine. Now as you guys know, right now, it's not a legit bug out machine. This is just a test in a way. This is a last second bug out. This is a real bug out. We just gotta grab what we can and go. If we want to, and if we can get 10,000 likes on this video, we will strip down that army truck and turn it into a legit doomsday machine. Like. We will deck that thing out, armor and everything. But if you want to see that, 10,000 likes. But as for now, we gotta head on out here. We gotta be prepared, guys. You never know what's about to happen. All right, what do we need? Here's this. We don't have a ton of time. What's the scenario? What's going on? We just heard gunshots down at the neighbor's house. Here you go, so we gotta get out of here. And there's a lot of guns, and we can't out fight them. Huh? What else we need? A backpack. Mm. All right, I'll get this. because this was a really good spot. We had water supply and everything, but we're going to leave it. <clears throat> We're hearing some gunshots down there in the holler, but we got to get out of here. Where should we put all this stuff? We didn't prep for this. This is just last moment stuff. Should we put it up on top or should we put it in the cab to drive? <clears throat> What's going on here? Why can't I get the my backpack off? Uh. All right, let's get the rest up and we gotta go. We're here. Let's go. Let's go check out the location we chose. Alright guys, this is the location we chose. We chose to get right here on the edge of the field, mainly because we're not allowed to drive it on the road, so we can't actually go very far, but this is this we're, this is the good as we're gonna get. But we also drove it right over here next to this deer feeder. Now the good thing about this is, uh, yeah, we're kind of close, and if any deer does come over here, it's probably gonna know we're here. But hey, let's say we get lucky, maybe a couple turkeys walk over here, we can get us some free lunch. But as for now, let's head on up there and let's actually begin it set up. If this is an actual bug out situation, we gotta have the ability to live. Like we can't just sit in a truck for 10 hours. We actually have to live comfortably in a truck for 10 hours. Yeah, guys, let's get on up here. And that's actually getting set up. We're going to turn this into a pretty solid bug out machine. You ready? Yeah. Ugh. All right, guys. Oh, here is the final location. This is the view we have of the field. Most likely, if anything goes down, anybody tries to shindig we don't like, we'll have direct access and sight to them. We got the M2 Brownie up here, along with all of our supplies. But first things first, guys, if we're going to build a bug out location, basically a mobile fortress, or a mobile temporary fortress in this case, 10,000 likes, we turn it into a permanent mobile fortress. But first things first, we got to get food, water, shelter. But first of those, I think we kind of need shelter because I think it might be about to rain today. Let's get started. Uh, 
All right, guys. So basically, here we are. We got the tarp up, which is gonna be really key. Now, usually on a five-ton truck, they already come with the tarp like this, and it like you know. But this one don't have it, so we kind of just had to improvise. But honestly, so far so good. We got all the supplies we need here to go a few days. We could have grabbed sleeping bags and you know, kind of just laid up the sleeping bags here and slept here. But we really don't plan on doing that. At least not in this episode. I've said this four times already, but whenever we get the ten thousand likes, we're gonna build this up to be like a legit shelter, and we may even put beds in here full time just like a literally a mobile bunker but as for today this is mainly just a bug out situation now we're going to get ready to cook here in a minute we brought some hot dogs and some water but first let's talk about what we actually brought for defense because we all know food water shelter that's all the basics to survive but in a bug out situation defense is also really big on that list and so for this bug out situation i brought the ak and Ethan brought the M4 with grenade launcher. Now, if you ask 100 people which one's better, you're probably going to get 100 different answers. Actually, you only get two answers. But the answers will be pretty split on whether the M4 or AK is better. So what me and Ethan actually did yesterday is we took these two out with a ballistics gel block and we tested them out. Enjoy this little ballistics test because it was pretty awesome. It is actually the day before the footage you're just watching. But in my hands, I have the AK that we took on the truck and then we also have the M4 with the grenade launcher that we took on the truck. Now, if you come on over here, I'll lay these down. Don't worry, they both are clear. Mags are out of them. And the mags out of the AK. We're going to be doing exactly what we were saying. We are going to test right here with ballistics gel. Which one of these does more damage? Now, damage to what? That's up to you. But we're just going to do the ballistics gel. Now, with this test, we're basically going to be testing the bullets themselves. Since the gun's features has nothing to do with the penetration it gets in gel. If you want to see another video where I talk about these two and like their platforms versus each other, there's actually a video called that AK-47 versus AR-15 on my second channel. You can check that out. But today, we're gonna go head to head, 7.62 by 39, or 5.56. Five, now, I know that these two rounds are not the same at all, but for each of these calibers, I got them as similar as possible. Same exact manufacturer, same exact factory, and with that being said, that probably means that the powder, the steel casing, and the metal used for the projectile itself are probably the same. These are both FMJs, so they should ballistically act the same. Just a little bit of stats. This one is 147 grain out of the AK. This one's, I think, 55 coming out of the AR. Well, let's go ahead and open up the ballistics gel. This is coming from Clear Ballistics, so big thanks to them. Mm. How do I get this open? Mm. There we go. Mm. Bet, baby. Let's go. This is the same stuff we used on the arrow penetration video. This one. If you not saw that, you need to watch that video. It was epic. I'd say both of these rifles will clean through that. You think so? I guarantee it. I'm going to say I don't think so at all. My predictions, which one's going to do more damage? That I don't know the answer to. But I am going to say that the 5.56 five, penetrates more, while that the AK round has a bigger, wilder hole as it goes through. I don't know the amount of penetration I'm expecting. Yeah, it's so satisfying to watch the knife cut through the plastic. We got it on this towel so that it can stay as clean as possible for as long as possible. My prediction, once a couple bullets goes through, that's not going to be that clear anymore. We're going to step back to about 10 feet, 15 feet. Just let it rip. See what happens. All right, guys, here we go. FMJ AK ballistics gel. Let's see what happens. Whoa, Whoa. that is cool. It did um it did go all the way through okay check that out can you, you can see that pretty good huh oh yeah it uh it went all the way i didn't i did also i didn't expect that all right so my explanation is it came in this side stayed pretty streamlined started tumbling right here maybe one tumble and it really threw out a lot of displacement then maybe it got streamlined again then maybe, then maybe it tumbled again right here as it came on out that's just a rough estimate i'm not exactly sure but as for that i'm thinking we line it right back up again it didn't really have any problem at all coming mm -mm. coming through that so let's try the 556 and see what kind of damage it can do. This is Ethan's gun, show it to us real quick. At this moment, it's actually never been shot, so this is gonna be the first time. All right, let's see what you can do. Let's check that out, dude. That looks like we got a really good test. Oh my gosh, it stopped. What is that about, dude? I did not expect that at all. Uh-uh. Dude, it stopped. It stopped the bullet. It looks like over here was part of the wound channel or whatever, so it kind of messed up how clear it was, but we'll look at it from the top. This side is five five six this side is ak it goes in they both start tumbling around uh five to six inches in then they get straighter again 
and then when the two two i mean when the five five six stops the ak round twists again and keeps on moving through now the cool thing is that these are both fmj and i mean i gotta say whoever made the bullets done a pretty good job because neither one of them fragmented at all the wound channel right here looks very similar though between them like yeah. look at this all right here's what we didn't show you so this is this y'all can y'all can do with whatever that you will we actually have some green temps which are steel core armor piercing whole lot more quality ammo and uh we're gonna go ahead and shoot the one of those through it so yeah let's step back and let's get it done all right green tip aim right in the center turn the red dot on let's check that out oh no no i'm um, the green tip uh didn't do what we wanted to that's very weird so here what we have we have the first 556 the green tip 556 and then 7.62 yeah a pretty similar channel as the original 556 and then about the time that this 556 stopped that one actually curved out of the target so there's not exactly a ton to find out about that one but one thing we will say is that it was probably going to penetrate a little bit further which the green tips are 62 green so they're a little bit heavier that's actually pretty important i'm actually going to pull out the kg pocket knife and i'm going to attempt to dig down here and actually get this bullet out and we can see what exactly what it did now this ballistics gel is super thick so it's not going to be exactly easy to just cut all the way down to it's going to have to be baby slices at a time kg pocket knife can get it done though there we go we're getting there i'm touching the bullet now bringing it out there we go so she deformed she actually flattened out which was weird and then you can see it's like copper plated and then the inside's a little bit of lead there's a little bit of lead still in there but we're not going to try to get it out and another cool thing is that it went in this direction came out this direction so i mean it ended up this direction so the bullet had straight up turned around inside but yeah guys hope you like this little segment hope you learned something now let's go back to the bunker because we got some xbox to play all right, now that we saw that, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and start uh, cooking up some stuff. All right, no, we still gotta rig up the M2. We'll do that here in a minute. I'm hungry. For food, this is what we got. Also, entertainment. That comes after the food, but first we're gonna cook the food. We got the generator, but we're not gonna use that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little thing. Mm. This is actually the same thing that I used on that bunker challenge. But we're gonna go grill some hot dogs. So I got some tinfoil here. Just tinfoil, it's really cheap it's super compact you can use a ton of this and you're not necessarily going to get that super nasty because out here we're just surviving with the le the littlest stuff we have we don't want to bring a whole cleaning kit to clean the grill it's a lot easier just to bring a sheet of tin foil so we'll go ahead and unfold that real quick then i'll hook up our propane somehow there we go go ahead and turn it up some all right now we're cooking right there we got heat now. There's our first hot dog. This is the most luxury cooking, but we're cooking not only on a budget, but also on a weight limit and a time limit. We have five hot dogs and four hot dog buns. I don't know how that's gonna work out because we also didn't bring plates. Nice. But anyway, that's just how it's gonna have to be. We're gonna let them grill for a minute. That's that gourmet food. Pretty much, it'll just cook like that. It may take a minute, it may take a little bit longer, but it might actually not. We could build a fire, but that would also give away our position if we were actually trying to hide. The plan for this whole thing, is just like we was doing in the video. Let's say we literally had to leave the bunker. Obviously the bunker's gonna be our best place. We had a water supply. We had to leave and just bring a gallon jug. Oh, it's cooking now but we had everything we needed we had shelter we had protection we had food water we had everything we needed in that bunker but what this is about is that the bunker has been compromised and we have to go right now unfortunately we don't have this set up perfectly to be the mobile fortress but what we do have is a truck so we got what we, we we grabbed what we could and we came out here and now here we are for one this tarp is going to help with rain but it's also going to help with the sun if it ever comes out which we're in kentucky so it probably won't it's probably going to rain today probably here's your water since there's two of us, we can just go ahead and drink out of the jugs. Well, you're at the water. Where it's been stored in the bunker for a few days, it's actually pretty cold because inside the bunker, it stays a solid 55 degrees. That, that's winter or summer. 55 degrees, that's it. That's why a bunker is so cool. After we get done cooking, we'll hook up the Xbox <laughs> and the M2 Browning. Can't have survival without an Xbox. Mm -mm. Not in the 21st century or the 20th century or the 22nd century. I don't know what it is. I'm ready. I'm ready for these hot dogs, dude. Like, I'm kind of, I'm not really hungry, but I'm always ready to eat a hot dog. Thank you. 
We did not bring ketchup, but we just got to deal with it. So we forgot ketchup, but we did bring an Xbox, right? Is that what you're saying? Precisely. Moment of truth. What do you think it's going to taste like? Good or what? A hot I'd dog. I hope it's good. It's a hot dog, dude. It can't be that bad. I don't really think you can mess up a hot dog, can you? I don't reckon. It's pretty good, guys. It's kind of hard to mess up. Just from this right here, we're getting 120 calories from the bun. Who knows how many calories from the fatty hot dog? Two, two hot dogs and buns. That's a pretty good deal. Another good thing about hot dogs is how they're not real meat pretty much they're not exactly gonna spoil that often and you don't even have to cook them to eat them you can eat those raw if you want to it's not like it's gonna make it healthier to cook it or anything we're gonna go ahead and eat these then we're pulling out the xbox we'll catch y'all in a minute did you bring an hdmi cable yeah of course uh. <laughs> that's literally the only thing that we actually need a generator for I didn't bring an HDMI cable. Did you bring an HDMI cable? Yeah, of course, of course. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab one. All right, guys, so we made a little bit of an exception. This was gonna be a complete bug out, but when a man ain't got a HDMI cable and he needs to play his Xbox, they change, the rules change a little bit, okay? So I went and got me an HDMI cable and 50 chicken nuggets. But you know what? That's just how it, it just do be like that sometimes. Anyways, here's chicken nuggets. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, we, we never we never said that the world was ending. We just said that we had we had to bug out. We never said that Wendy's had to bug out. Wendy's still in business, son. Anyways, I got us some sweet and sour too. To dig in. Oh yeah. I've eaten some on the way here. There's no longer 50. We'll get back with you guys whenever it's time to play some Xbox. <laughs> Oh yeah. Also guys, I haven't said this yet, but stay to the end of the video. I think we're going to give away a $100 gift card to kennelgrade1.com slash shop. And while we're at it, talking about kennelgrade1.com slash shop, that's where you can get a shirt like this. This is the Orange Tiger. I really like it. I like the feel of it. But you can also get these right here, which are the KG Chicken Socks. Now, I know what you're saying. KG, that's not even realistic. You don't even have a white chicken. Listen, um, uh, yeah, I know, but... I might soon, so just calm down. But yeah, if you want these socks, they kind of match the shirt. Not really, but... And not to mention the KG pocket knife and the backpack. We didn't even tell them about the backpack. We used that thing to death. I actually got me a little holster strapped on it. But yeah, kennelgrade1.com slash shop. Stay to the end of the episode, though, because we're going to be giving away, uh, did I say 50 or 100? 100. 100 dollars gift card. Okay. But yeah, now onto the Xbox. That's the only thing half y'all are to care about right now. Also, stay tuned because we're gonna go drag down a tree with this thing. Not the HDMI cable, the truck. I'd be more impressed with the HDMI cable. I would too. Stinking wrap this thing around a tree and drag it to the, drag it through town. I've never done this before, but son, it's working. High speed HDMI, well, that's what we need. We're technically hooked up. Now it's just up to what does the laptop choose to do. <coughs> Generator is on, Xbox is on. Computer's being opened up. How do we use it? You go to your settings and it should pop up like HDMI. All right. It'll say like stuff connected or display. While Ethan's figuring out how to use it, we're gonna take out Big 800 2012 and put in Modern Warfare 3. Because in Modern Warfare 3, there's actually a mission on the campaign that we actually run around in a truck that we're in right now. So we're gonna go do that mission. If it has my game saved. It's not, we're in bad shape because I ain't playing the whole campaign. So far, so good. I mean, it, it's looking pretty good so far. We got the generator, it's at 100%. Y'all can't, oh, it's at 99. Xbox running smoothly, Mac almost about to run smoothly, and then if anything goes wrong, we got a stinking M2 right there. I would call this a success. What's up? Hi, I got, I got, I got the TV. I guess. <laughs> yeah, y'all better hit the like button on this video. I had to go back and forth like six times just to get this to work, and we still don't even know if this. Is going, I don't even know how to get this up here. I'm sinking down here with a 2004 model Vizio 24 inch screen. Weighs like 60 pounds down here, but KG's a strong man, so he can curl it. You know what? Just give me the AK sling, and I'll put it on my back and come up here. <sighs> 
All right, boy, she's plugged in. Let's see if they both turn on. How you turn on the TV, dude? I don't know about that. Maybe right. that button. Oh, it says HDMI's not even plugged in. What are you doing, dude? Don't tell me you ain't plugged in. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's see you go, baby. Let's just hope the batteries are good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we need to get us a little Wi-Fi route. Also, we need to be quiet in case the people who raided us out of the bunker find us. <laughs> Literally, my best case scenario right now, if they come over here and it's like, give me all your money, I'll just say, take the TV. <laughs> Throw the TV at them. Oh, <laughs> Oh, That's kind of what the guy looked like that run us out of the bunker. You know how we said there was a mission on this game where we actually drove one of these army trucks? That's Call of Duty Ghost. It's been a while. It's been a while. Look at the graphics on this TV, dude. They're not bad. Yeah. Survival mission. mission. Chads? Does that say Chads? Uh, that, that says Chaos. Oh! 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 KG, aim down sights. Aim down sights. They gave you sights for a reason. Oh yeah. Excuse me, my boy? I'm already hurt. I literally just got on the game. Now, there's a bunch of them at the end of this hallway, just to let you know. Dude, where are all my ammo at? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's shortage because everyone's bought it. Dude, how are these guys so good? Dude, I am not good at this. Games, huh? That's it. I'm leaving, dude. Let's go tear down a tree. I'm done with this game. This is done, dude. You got flashbanged. It's a lot harder than I remember. You know the crazy thing, though? Like, literally, we played that for, like, a few minutes. We still have 96% battery. That's pretty good. All right, let's go tear down a tree. Then go up, get the winch, unhook it, and let me know, and I will start letting it out. All right. I got bad news. It don't work. We got a big old chain. We got a big old hook. But yeah, it don't. It don't work. I don't know. Maybe they uh, like blow it up in Vietnam or something. I guess we're not going down the street. All right, guys. So here's the scenario this time. Let's say we're over here. We're roasting. Uh, we're roasting marshmallows over the exhaust or something. You know, something like that. And uh, we're just minding our own business, playing some two K. They're here. Easy, easy. Light them up. Light them up. I got them. America. And just like that, guys, if something goes crazy like that, that's what we're going to do. Now, that's just a bug out video. Is this an actual scenario? No, not really at all. Is it an accurate representation of a bug out situation? No, 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 not really. But here's the thing, guys. Hope you had fun watching it with us. Now, here's what you're going to have to do to try to win the $100 giveaway. We're going to be giving away a $100 gift card to kennelgraywoodland.com slash shop. That's where you can pick up this shirt, the knife, the socks, all the thing we mentioned earlier. Plus backpacks, all kinds of hunting and fishing stuff. All you have to do is one, be subscribed two hit the like button three go down in the comments comment what was your favorite part about the video what you think was the funniest and then your instagram handle we'll be picking a winner soon we'll reach out to you but as for now if you want to watch this video on the second channel it was like two years ago with this same army truck really cool video or you can click right over here for all of my gun playlist on my main channel don't forget to enter the giveaway you may just win